Well, you've heard it before, there's no business like show business. And at Viterbo University, students in the theater and music theater department are working to achieve their dreams one class at a time. Alante Walker tells you how the program is leading to success. That's eight semesters of private voice, that's six semesters, although everybody does eight semesters of dance, that's seven semesters of acting. That intense conservatory-like training program at Viterbo is what's attracting students from all over the country to attend the private school. It takes determination and preparation and preparedness, but most of the time patience to understand that that line is not always straight and that you can find a whole wonderful life in a lot of different directions. And for some, that direction leads them from the Cooley region straight into the heart of New York City to star in a Broadway show. Not one, not two, but three alums of Viterbo will be on stages in the Big Apple this play season. That includes 2013 grad Jardin Deshaun Milton, who is currently in one of the hottest tickets on Broadway, Tina, the Tina Turner musical. Being one of not many students at Viterbo to make it this far is just a huge accomplishment. And a blessing. Jardin transferred to Viterbo University after completing his freshman year across the river at St. Mary's in Winona. Once he started school at his top choice college, he hit the ground running. Know what it is, what you want, set those goals, be disciplined, and ask questions. You want your journey to be what your journey is supposed to be. For now, Jardin says he is enjoying the journey that he's on, getting to share the story of a music legend eight times a week. Had you told me at Viterbo, hey, Arvinder, you're going to be on Broadway, I would have laughed at you and called you a liar to your face. Well, the joke is on this 1998 Viterbo graduate. Arbender J. Robinson has more than 10 Broadway credits to his name, a dream for any working actor, but says his success would not be possible without the life lessons he learned during his undergraduate studies, which ultimately shaped his career. Because I was in a program that at the time wasn't as diverse as we wanted it to be. Um, it also taught me how to craft my skill and my talent to kind of become ethnicless or raceless. So then when I got out in the real world, those struggles that some people would have, I already dealt with in the safe university environment. Which led him to cover some notable roles, including Marius in Les Miserables and Prince Eric in The Little Mermaid. He is currently in the cast of the Tony Award-winning musical, The Book of Mormon. And after years of performing on the big stage, Arbender says he will continue to treat every show just like it's his debut performance. That's some advice 2012 Viterbo grad Samantha Pauly might be taking as she gets ready to make her Broadway debut in six. Making my Broadway debut in a principal role in a brand new show is beyond my wildest dreams. It's a concert-like show that combines contemporary musical styles for a modern retelling of the six wives of King Henry VIII, getting their chance to remix history and switch it to her story. It is an all-female cast. We have an all-female band that is on stage. The show uh, was written and is being directed by a female. I can't think of any other shows that exist that check uh, those boxes. Being a strong female lead is nothing new for Pauly. She pushed herself during college to become a true triple threat, spent her summers working professionally, and went on to land gigs from Chicago all the way to London. But that almost came to an abrupt end last year when she considered giving up acting altogether. But just like a lesson she learned in her acting classes, she decided to follow her impulses. I'm also a firm believer that, you know, if things hadn't gone the way that they did, I wouldn't be where I am right now. Every time six kept coming up and I kept saying no, I kept thinking, well, maybe there is a reason that it keeps coming back. Maybe this is the thing that I should be doing. Because after hearing no plenty of times, it was that one yes that changed the narrative of their lives, proving that failure can be part of one's success story. And there are many ways to get there. Bringing you this report on wishes believed and dreams achieved, I'm Alante Walker. And if you happen to be looking for some entertainment and a quick getaway this week, you can ca catch Samantha's show six before it heads to Broadway next month. It is playing at the Ordway Center right now in St. Paul. It will be there for the rest of the weekend.